All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new career mode in a brand new F1 game. F1 23 is here and we're starting up a new career mode. We're gonna be starting in F2 just like we did last year. Shout out to the EA Creator Network for providing me with this opportunity to get early gameplay for you guys. Really appreciate that. Let's jump on in. Let's do this thing. Single player career, we're diving in. I am planning to do a co-op career with Game Riot as well, but there's a problem with the co-op career at the moment where every car is is the same they have like equal performance for some reason and you can't change it but we're gonna be doing um we're gonna be playing as a driver i'm not gonna do my team we're just gonna play as a driver and we're gonna start in f2 because that's what we did last season and we became the f2 world champion and worked our way into f1 and i really enjoyed that by the way if you want 20 percent off rogue energy you can get it using my code the apex hound there's a brand new flavor out strawberry mango and i'm actually having it for the first time here it's really damn good um you can try it for as little as 20 bucks with a starter kit so give it a shot see if you like it we're gonna do a custom season for uh for formula two yeah we'll take out saudi arabia monaco baku france hungary and netherlands and we'll go for eight races here in the f2 season uh, and i think that makes a lot of sense actually for anyone asking these are the assists i'm using i'm still fairly new to f1 games getting used to it i've got traction control i was playing on full the whole time but i've I've got it down to medium since like midway through F122 and we're sticking with that here in F123. Um, obviously, I'll be looking to take off more assists as I go and get better. Career settings, we have driver moves on, R&D ma uh, management on, of course. Uh, safety car and stuff like that. I'll need to change the, uh, the format before we do that. Difficulty wise, we're going to put that up to around 60. I think I was playing on like 69 or something like that when I was doing... Uh, some Grand Prix earlier and that seemed to work quite well. All right, so I'm going to do short session length. We're going to do 25% race in uh, F2. And then when F1 comes around, we can bump it up to 35% maybe if people think that's, uh, that's appropriate. We're going to do one shot qualifying as well in F2. Uh, but when we get to F1, we'll probably bump that up to short or maybe even full. We'll see. And I think we are ready to go. Let's start our career. Let's do this thing. Jarno Oatmeer's in the game. That's crazy. <laughs> this was my guy in the last game, actually. That was my, his character. But I kind of like the look of this guy. Although this guy has blue eyes. All right, we'll set our name to Ace again, because that's what we were in the last one. Driver number. I'm going to stick with the one that I had in the last one, which was number 50. And we are going, seeing as Carlos signs as my favorite number taken. Uh, but that's all right, because I love Carlos. All right, ca driver's look, helmet-wise. I like the Connor Sport helmet, but I think... I'm going to go with the Connor Sport one, actually. I kind of like that. I'm, I'm going for the easy one. Just to be cocky asshole. All right. Advance. Team select. Who are we going to be? What team shall we be? I think we'll go for Prima. We'll go for Prima and we'll be a part of the Ferrari Driver Academy, I think. Yeah, we'll go for Ferrari Driver Academy. Then maybe we'll get offered a seat with uh, Alfa Romeo or something like that. And let's start the career. Because we did the Red Bull one last time. Um, so let's do Ferrari this time. We're wearing the Red Bull suit, but uh, you know what? That's okay. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. One shot qualifying in Bahrain. Let's go, baby. I'm excited. I, I want to get into watching F2 as well, but I, I haven't got around to it. I've just been, I've been so busy with other stuff, but I'd love to get around to eventually watching F2 as well. I'm watching some of these other motorsports as well, like Le Mans. I watched a little bit of it. Didn't get a chance to watch too much. But yeah, Ferrari won that. Fair play to them. Ferrari got the W. Not great. I probably should get some. But I doubt, I doubt they're even out yet, really, because the game's not been out for longer than uh, for longer than like a day in early access. But let's get it, baby. Here we go. One shot qualifying. Let's go. All right, that was nice. All right, a bit tentative through the first corner there. But it's okay, we're down in last now. We can gain some of that back. Don't worry, all right? We know it's our first corner in F2, for God's sake. We're going to be a little bit apprehensive. We need to uh, we need to get be at one with the car. You know, we haven't got used to it yet. It's going to take some time, no doubt about it. And all cars have equal performance as well, so it's going to be a fairly even battle throughout the season, no doubt about it. Got to be on it, like Onyx. I don't know why Onyx would be on it, but all right. Better. Better since the first corner. The first corner lost us all the time, really, and we've been better since. See, this is where I always lose time, though, I feel like. This part right there, I always lose time there. It's crazy. I, I feel like that corner specifically is a, is a really difficult one to manage. Like, I think that the braking zone is too late, is what I noticed about it. Yeah, it's going to be dead last. It's going to be dead last in our first lap in F2. 
but I just couldn't get it together there on the on the one shot lap. I could restart and try this, but I want to try it from the back of the grid and see if we can gain positions and maybe even who knows get a point. You never know what can happen, but yeah, not ideal. Not an ideal start at all. We were well behind. I think that was the leader ahead of us there, but yeah, it's just overall not a clean lap. We're going to be starting last in our first F2 race. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. This is the way of the road, and... Wait, podium pass. yee -haw. Yeah, I probably probably should have done short qualifying as well, because I'm never that good on my first lap. Like, <laughs> and I don't really know the tracks all all that well in this game. Like, I don't know. It, there's some changes here and there, and how the cars feel and stuff like that. But feature race, eight laps. Let's do it. Come on. I should have done the feature race and the sprint race, to be honest. A reverse grid, I would have been starting first, right? No, I think it's only reverse for like the first 10 anyway. I don't know how it works. <laughs> okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. All right, I won't let you down. Hey, there's Logan Sargent, is it? You're an F1, sir. Oh, look at that start. Hell of a start. There's so many cars here coming into the... This is crazy. Starting at the back of the grid in F2 is terrifying. I mean, there's only two extra cars, really, but still, it's... It's just scary. We made a big, big, big move there at the start. And I remember there's no ERS either in this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, nearly went... He had to... Oh, my God. I think I just caused a crash. Because he had to move out of the way because I was nearly in his way. But I think he overreacted a little bit. And we're up to 13. What a start. I have to be in last in quali. Oh, shit. Okay, I have to go off the road a little bit, but it's fine. Got away with it. Just need to avoid any stupid mistakes and we're good. We're up with our teammate already. Who qualified, what was it? Bloody, um, I'm pretty sure 14 positions ahead of us. But now we're neck and neck and we haven't even completed the first lap. Go, baby. Hell of a start. A little too far back to go for any sort of move there, but, uh, Honestly, even if we don't gain any more positions throughout the rest of the race, it was a hell of a first lap. <laughs> but I think we will. I think we've got some pace here. I'm feeling a little bit more confident as time goes on now. What the fuck are you doing? Just hit into me, man. Yeah, I think we've hit a wall now where it's going to be hard to overtake more people. We're going to be defending as much as we're attacking now because uh, we're kind of right in the middle of the pack. And the guys ahead of me are definitely quite quick at the moment. Obviously, we all have the same car, but you know what I'm saying. They're all quick. These are the guys that qualified up near the top of the grid, for God's sake. All right, that was good. That was good. That was nice. Come on. Let's push. Let's push. All right, get within a second again. Get a little bit of a slipstream here. Come on. Come on, baby. Liam Lawson's up there ahead of us. A lot of these guys' names I know, but I don't like know them too well. I know of them because they've been talked about quite a lot in the F1 sphere. Yeah, I think it's a good way for me to get to know more about F2 and um, and know more about the sport in general by starting in F2 and just kind of seeing what's going on and try and work our way to F1. We're right kind of in a... A little bit of no man's land here. We're not close enough to Daruvula to make a move, but Sato is starting to to fall back a little bit as well. So we can start to, to push up and get a little bit more aggressive here as people are setting the fastest laps of the race continuously here. All right. DRS is enabled, but we're not quite in DRS range yet. We set a purple sector three there, which was quite nice. Now, if we could get DRS, that would be magic. We should be getting DRS here. Uh, not in this zone, but we should be inside the DRS zone at least. Inside the detection zone. The next one will be within a second, no doubt. Alright. Much better. Much better now. We're starting to gain back on Daruval on our teammate. And he doesn't seem to be making any inroads on Liam Lawson. So maybe you can let me have a go at him. How about that, Daruvala? Team orders, pal. Let me have a go at him, for God's sake. 
Jesus, nearly lost the car there. Very nearly lost the car there, but we got away with it. And we're still going to be just about within a second coming into this next, next detection zone, I would say. So that was uh, nearly bad for the race, but we got away with it. And we've got DRS coming down the main straight here now as well, so... Let's go, baby. I'm actually going to my first Grand Prix as well in Silverstone, July 9th, which is actually my birthday. Uh, funnily enough, I'm going to I'm going to the Grand Prix with Game Riot. Me and Game Riot going to the uh, going to the Silverstone Grand Prix, the British Grand Prix, and I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm bringing my camera, my new camera that I got for golf course vlogs and stuff. I'm bringing that, and we're gonna we're gonna be doing a little bit of a vlog, I would say. There, see, I lose so much time on that last corner. I always lose so much time on it. I don't know what it is, but I just can't seem to be aggressive enough is it? I don't know if it's I'm being maybe too aggressive or not aggressive enough I don't know it's I'm losing time in that corner though for sure but yeah I can't wait to go to the British Grand Prix it's gonna be an absolute blast um tickets cost a fortune but you know this is kind of a thing that you have to do in your life you gotta go to a Grand Prix and I doubt it'll be the last I go to I think this is gonna be uh, the first of many I hope we'll see what happens but yeah I kind of wanna wanna go to a few more alright let's go come on don't have DRS anymore, unfortunately. So yeah, we're kind of in no man's land. 13th seems to be the position that we might finish in if the race continues like this. We're about halfway through right now, and we don't seem to be making any inroads at all on the Ruvala, unfortunately. So we can try our best to, to get back in DRS range here, but it's not looking hot so far, at least. But lots of time left in the race, to be fair. I was much better coming out of there now. We're nearly within a second. It would be awesome if we could get within a second, but unfortunately, I don't think we will. Break late, maybe? No, that's the detection zone right there anyway, so we're not going to have DRS, and Daruvala is. So that's going to harm us here, no doubt. Okay. Well, you know what? It's fine. Another purple Sector 3. I'm really good in Sector 3. It's just this first corner, I think I'm losing, like, at least five tenths of a second or something crazy like that. I just need to be sticking to the line more, man. Let's try this. Get a little bit more aggressive. Come out through here. Cut the corner a little bit more. Nope. See? You can't do that. <laughs> we did the first part really well right here. But then... Gotta be a little less aggressive here, I guess? No, you can't. Can you not hit the curb at all? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn here, guys. So... No, I, th I think you can't hit it at all. Or, or very minimally, anyway. I'm hitting it too much there. Like that. No. I s still. Maybe I can't fully accelerate through here? Because when I get on the throttle fully there, I just lose it. Okay, there you go. You kind of just got to take your foot off the gas a little bit. Nearly within a second, though. Sorry, I I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. I hope you guys are around for the for the journey watching me get better, because that's the that's the goal of this series is to get a lot better by the end of it. By the end of the first season. Um in F1 that is. In F2 we're gonna try and try and get ourselves prepared for the first F1 season. We'll see what we'll see how that goes then. We're back within a second though. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can gain a few more places or get into the points. Oh I nearly lost it there, but we got away with it. Got away with it big time actually I'd say. Oh, did we get away with that or what, too? We lost the car a little bit and we just got away with it. Now, we actually got a really good exit because of it. We could maybe get past Aruvula here. If we can get past Aruvula, I'm fairly confident we can get another place or two. As we go wheel to wheel with our teammate around the first corner, we're going to have DRS here, surely we are. We're past him and we have DRS. That means I can start to make in inroads on Liam Lawson here as well. Hopefully, not quite within a second of Liam Lawson yet. But does that mean I get DRS for the second one as well? As well? I'm not sure, actually. Alright, much better coming out of that zone. No, I do not get DRS there, but Daruvla does. He gets it on me. We're going to have a little bit of a battle with our teammate, but we're up to 12th position. We're making good inroads here. We have two laps left to gain a couple more. If we want to get a point, or... that would be awesome. As Daruvla is looking to make a... Make a move on me when I made a little mistake there. Just a couple of little mistakes here and there, but uh, not a bad race from the back of the grid. Fucking hell, what just happened? What just happened? I don't know, but we got away with it. I'll tell you that much. We got away with it just about. Jesus Lord, we went skidding all over the place there. I don't know how we didn't uh, lose the position back to Daruvala, to be honest. I think our tires are starting to go a little bit, to be honest, because 
it's feeling a lot more slippery than it was before, and Daruval is going to have a go at us here, no doubt. We pull away a little bit, though. I don't think we'll be gaining any more positions, unfortunately. I've just lost too much time there with that mistake. Alright, we're on to the final lap. It looks like we're going to finish in 12th. And honestly, from from 22nd on the grid, it's not half a bad race, but it's just a little bit of a, a boring one from the uh, after the first couple of laps. We had a decent battle with our teammate, but other than that, we really haven't had much going on outside of the uh, outside of the first couple of laps. The Ruval is coming for us on this last lap as well. I've been uh, I've been a little bit sloppy now for the last little bit because I know I'm not getting up to Lawson and uh, Ruval is right on me now. Pause. Right, come on. Still getting the grips with the medium traction control, man. I'm, I'm slipping quite a bit. I don't know what I what I'm doing wrong, per se. Uh, but any tips are welcome in the in the in the comments, by the way. I'm not gonna be offended if you try and give me tips, as long as it's constructive and not you fucking suck, bro. You know, because that that doesn't help anyone. But yeah, I'd appreciate any tips that you might have. All right, we're looking to hold on to to 12th place and come ahead of our teammate in the first Grand Prix. It won't be a point or anything, but uh, it'll be a, a successful day from the back of the grid, I would say. And we've showed that we can compete. Um, Bahrain's never been my favorite track. I always struggle on this, to be honest. Uh, never really, never really been a favorite of mine. There you go. Should be... Good enough for 12th place and ahead of our teammate after he qualified in 8th and qualified in 22nd. Should be A-OK, -okay, baby. Tio Porcher wins the Grand Prix, the first in F2, and we are going to come home 12th. We're not that far behind the leader, honestly, all things considered. Um, but just a couple of, couple of bang average laps there. Okay. Race over and Sakir. It's a 12th place finish in F2. And we'll take it. Driver of the day as well. Come on, baby. Driver of the day. Let's go. You Boucher wins for Art. Oh, I forgot you get a point for two points for qualifying in pole position, is it? In interesting. There's a couple of different little rule changes there, which is cool. Um, and you get one for the fastest lap as well. Oh, look at this. Feature race. Looks like it has some rain. Interesting. Okay. Let's go to the one-shot quali here in Great Britain. This is where I'm going to be going for the real Grand Prix, and a track that I've always really liked, actually. Uh, Silverstone, I really like playing uh, playing this one in the game. It was actually, I think when me and GameRite did our co-op career, it was the only one that I ever won was Silverstone. Um, and I won it in the rain, too. So maybe this will be the perfect race for me to do well in. Now, qualifying will not be in the rain, so we'll have to do a better qualifying performance than last time. No doubt about it. So uh, let's stick with balanced here, and let's just go for a lap. Let's just go for a good one here, because we only get one shot. Let's do it. Come on, boys. We need a better one than last time. That's for damn sure. But I, I'm definitely better at this track. We just need to put together a good lap. I'd love to get a pole position here. That would be mega, wouldn't it? From last on the grid to first the next week, that would be absolutely sick. But you probably won't be getting that out of me just yet. I'm still uh, adjusting and getting better, but... Um, it's going to take a while, for sure. We're in fifth as it stands right now. Not bad. All right. Drop back a little bit there, but that's okay. Not bad. I think it's our teammate who's, uh, who's on pole through the first little bit of this race here. That was good. That was real nice, actually. Really? I dropped down there? Damn, I thought I did good there. I was wrong. That was better, though. That was real nice there. We took that on real nicely. Come on. Get the DRS. <laughs> I've got the slipstream on him as well, even though it's a ghost. I went off track, but I'm, I've taken the lead there. What did I get? What did I get? Did I get pole? Okay, good 
job, mate. Really, really <laughs> I went off track at the end there, but I got pole. Let's go. Oh, we got a trophy for that too. Setting up for success. I'm getting that's for, guessing that's for getting pole. Holy shit. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That was mega. That was absolutely mega. As we wind down from the excitement of We get two points for that. Let's go. Ace, poor chair. Derubala. We're qualifying complete. Barely as well. We lost some time at the end there, I think, but we got it done. For the feature race tomorrow. So make sure you join us then. We got it done. Let's go. That was mega. The feature race is going to have rain, though. Team orders. I'll qualify your teammate in career. Done and dusted. Easy claps. Let's go. Come on, baby. That was awesome. All right. Feature race with some rain at Tilbertown. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's pissing down. It's Sunday, and that means it's <laughs> race time here at Silverstone. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside. Jesus, the Lord. This is going to be insane. Okay. All right, it's absolutely piss it's very wet. So oh my god, this is going to be terrible. I should put on full traction control right now. Even in these conditions oh god, the we're going to be all over the shop. Available, the Wellington and Hanger Straits still represent some of the best opportunities for overtaking. Let's okay. take a look. I don't at think the there'll be much overtaking now in this weather. Now. Okay. Okay, this is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix, which means there's a lot of very... Home Grand Prix for the engine supplier. I don't give a damn about that, all right? All right, decent start, I think. Decent launch. Yep, really good start. This is going to be insane, boys. I already know this is going to be insane. Jesus Christ, this is going to be hectic. You can barely even see, man. Theo Burger, who won the, the last Grand Prix, is right on us now. I broke late, though. I broke late. Surely he can't have broke later than me there. He's going down the inside, so he is. Theo Burger went for it, but he doesn't get it done this time. He's going to come at me again, no doubt about it. We're going to have to defend with our lives here if we want to win our first Grand Prix in F2. After starting at the back of the grid and the last one, we're starting at the front of the grid here. It may have been a questionable lap with some, uh, some times going off the road there, but uh, it doesn't matter as long as we get it done. Oh my god, nearly lost the car there again. Very nearly lost the car, but we built a gap up. We were brave there, we were brave. We nearly lost the car, but we, we didn't. That's the most important part, we didn't. We're going to have to be so careful here, man. That's what I mean. Look, I'm losing it already. No, no, no. Don't do this, Theo. Theo, don't do this. Okay. Woohoo! This is fun, boys. Epic, epic, epic race in Silverstone. It is going to be hard here, you have to assume. Or share is coming for us, no doubt about it. But oh, I've gone deep. I've gone deep. No, no, no! Don't do this. I'm gonna lose the place here. I've lost the place. I've lost the lead. And I've nearly lost the fucking car. Jesus, this is hectic. My teammate Daruval is behind us now. Theo Pusher sets the fastest lap, of course, as he just overtook me, and I lost it in the final corner there. Not the place to lose it, and I have to try and overtake someone to win the Grand Prix now. Can't let Theo win back to back. He's going to be on, his tr on track to win this thing then already. It's only eight races in it. Garuvla is right up our bunghole right now. And poor Cher is starting to build a bit of a gap here. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, man. Come on. Don't do this, poor Cher. Stay, stick around, buddy. I just want to talk. Anything can happen, though. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Obviously, once we get to F1 as well, guys, we'll have much more um, entertaining races with strategy and pit stops and safety cars and stuff like that. But I thought it would just kind of be uh, good to do shorter races for the F2 so I could get a few done in one video kind of way, you know, and get us through the F2 season a little bit quicker. Because I know people really want to see the F1 content, you know, and but I'm really enjoying the F2 stuff as well. I, I am enjoying this. I might bump it up to a, to a medium session length, potentially. Um, so we can get some safety cars in this F2 season and get some pit stops going and stuff like that. I think could be fun. And we're sticking within about about a second of Porsche Air at the moment. We're racing pretty well here on this lap. We need to just keep that up now. 
break guard at me to play it safe. Not take any crazy risks yet. Towards the end of the race, maybe to win. Um, but I don't know if we even even then will take any crazy risks. So obviously I don't want to... I'd rather come second than last, you know? So we might not make any crazy risks at all. It's going to be a longer race, though. Seven laps. Oh, fucking hell. Mm, come on. Stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. We've somehow managed to stay ahead of Daruvula there. We have to block him off a little bit. And Fittipaldi has got past our teammate uh, Daruvula now. I've kind of shafted my teammate a little bit there. I apologize, Daruvula. That one's on me, buddy. Porcher is starting to take a commanding lead now. He's nearly three seconds ahead. Which is nicked good. Nicked good at all if we want to have a chance to win this thing, man. Come on. Get back in this. We need a couple of clean laps. Get back up to within a second, maybe, or so. And I'd probably take the whole Grand Prix to gain back that gap that we lost if we, uh, we need to be racing perfectly for the rest of this thing if we want a chance, I think. Because he's quick out there. Theo's looking good out here. That was better. Much, much better. We've gained about five tenths on him here. That was really good. That was solid. Come on. Really solid Sector 2 there. Let's see if we can keep that up here through Sector 3 and... Get back within two seconds. That was wonderful. That was this is a wonderful sector two and three here. Been going too deep on this corner though. That's what cost me last time as well. Better this time though. We recovered better from it. I'm nervous to get too much more aggressive though. I feel like the car is just gonna spin. That was good, though. Come on. Green sector two. It's my fastest lap so far. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. We need a better sector three. Sector three has been my weak spot. For sure. Yeah, we got away with it. We got away with it. We got a little too aggressive, but we got away with it. I need to not be as deep this time. Still a little deep, but that's better. Just a little bit. All right, our fastest lap of the race. Not the fastest lap of the race, though, unfortunately. Theo's just racing really well out here. He's not making any mistakes. So I'm sticking... I'm, I'm holding the gap to to Daruvla, but... Corsair's just racing phenomenally out here. He really is. We need to somehow pull off a crazy lap to get within a second or so. Like a crazy couple of laps in a row where we're just racing really solid. That lap there was brilliant. Let's see if we can follow that up with another really good lap here. Another really solid lap. Because uh, if we can, then we can finally start to close this gap a little bit and maybe, maybe give Theo a run for his money towards the end of this race. Because there's only three laps left now, including this one. Um, so we'll have to see if we can somehow manage to, to narrow the gap here. Not likely at this point, I'd say. Theo's just wait, racing too well. We need some sort of a, a mistake from him more than anything from me, I think. Because we're doing all we can here. But I think we're going to be defending from Daruva, Daruvala a little bit on this last lap. Let's see if we can uh, if we can hold on to second position. It would be gutting if we didn't at this point. Um, but one mistake in these conditions can really fuck you up, you know, as we know. So we need to be really, really careful here as we go around the, the final lap, the final fucking corner. Are you serious right now? Not like this. Come on. All right, last couple of corners before we can claim second place here. From 12th to second, it's been a massive improvement. We just didn't have enough pace to, to hold off Theo Clorcher, who's been absolutely phenomenal. He's not made any mistakes at all, except for me here. I've made a bloody mistake in Daruvala. It's only half a second behind me here. I need to be very, very careful over these last corners. I can't really claim second place yet because we haven't crossed the finish line. We haven't seen the checkered flag yet. But we're about to. It's going to be... A really, really good race, but just not enough to take that top spot of the podium as Theo Percher was on another level. He's won both of the first two Grand Prix here, and he's done it in style. Oh, fucking hell, what have I done? Just about got the podium. Just about got the podium. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, baby. That was a phenomenal start. Theo Pusher gets driver of the day. 
but really good uh, race at Silverstone in the wet to not go off the track at all. Except towards the end, there we nearly did. Was uh, took a lot of um, took a lot of dedication, took a lot of mind power, concentration is the word I was looking for. But we're going to be on the podium. Let's have a look at us at the podium there. Come on, baby, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. ART, All right. the there we team are, who have been up on our first podium. Thank you very much, sir. Once again, back Me and the Ruvula, a double podium for Prima. Let's go. Driving skill. Here, Pusher, back-to-back wins here to start. Phenomenal stuff from him. I'm getting a lot of uh, a screen tearing here, which is interesting. You turn VSync on, I guess. But there you go. Uh, music is off for copyright reasons, by the way. That's why you can't hear them. They're, they're so doing then, champagne to nothing. To but 20 points driving. total for ourselves Taylor there. Porcher Phenomenal stuff. As his championship lead is extended Let's go. Further. Are they not giving and them a point for fastest lap? Because it says round two, 26 points. Fastest lap. Oh, it's just My automatically added onto his tally. Okay. Dale Porcher. He did a cracking job moving through the field. Just a very good race. On to the teams then. ART have extended their lead over the right, Let's challenge. have a look at the results. Meanwhile, Prima have improved their position. Yeah, Prima have definitely improved their position, but by how race, much? Because we were... Uh, be plenty more let's have a look at the team standings. I hope oh, join us at the as it stands right now, we're third in the standings. We got 20 results. points for that one, which was pretty mega for coming second. And we're only behind Cordiel and Pourchere now. Um, and Prima move up to second in the constructors' standings here as well. ART, Art Grand Prix, are ahead by 18 points. Okay, solid start to the season, boys. I will say that much. I've really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys did too. So if you enjoyed the first two Grand Prix and want to see me do more, then let me know. It looks like there's going to be uh, there's going to be some rain in the next Grand Prix as well, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, we're going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like and let me know if you want to see me continue this series in the in the F2. Or if you'd like to, me to do maybe up the, up the races for F2. We can do medium session lengths with safety cars and all that. Uh, honestly, completely up to you guys. Fan feedback or viewer feedback, I should say, rather than fan feedback, uh, will uh, dictate what we're going to do with this series. So thanks for watching. See you next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.